Well, we're going to be making some pizza dough. And this uh, is probably enough to make two or more pizzas. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. First of all, we're going to be using uh, untreated bread flour. Uh, this is a high gluten content flour, which is ideal for bread making and for pizza bases and the like. And I've poured some out into this bowl here. Um, you can use plain flour, but it won't hold together very well. So uh, it's best to use this untreated uh, bread flour. All right, so here we have two cups of unbleached bread flour. We've got two teaspoons of dry yeast. Now dry yeast is freely available in supermarkets in the baking section. They come in little sachet packs or you can buy one of these larger containers um, and uh, you'll see that the yeast in there is dry and easy to use. Uh, I do a lot of this sort of thing so I tend to buy it in quantities. So we can put the yeast mixture in and I've got two teaspoons of salt and we'll need some water and a little bit of oil just to give it a bit of elasticity. So I'm going to use this whisk just to mix all the ingredients together pretty well. In fact, I might put it into this larger bowl because once I add the water, it might just spread around a little bit. So here we go, just mix it into here. I'm going to make a little well in the middle and I can pour in some of the water. Now the water shouldn't be hot, uh, tepid is fine, lukewarm. Uh, you can also use plain cold tap water, it'll just take a little bit longer for the yeast to activate. Now I'm only going to put in a little bit of light oil, perhaps a couple of teaspoons is all that's required and this helps us work the dough a little bit. All right, so I'll mix this around. Uh, it's important not to have the dough too wet, so just control the amount of water you use. Uh, you want a nice, thick, gluggy porridge uh, consistency. And if it's too wet, it, it'll still uh, be a usable mixture, provided you have extra, extra flour. So I think I've got the quantities fairly right here, so that cup of water should just do nicely. All right, we'll just mix it through. this, so a little bit more water should do the trick. Okay, you can see they're coming together. Okay, so here's the dough mix all incorporating all the ingredients and it's ready to put out on the bench for kneading. Okay, just put a bit of this Flour mixture down. Spit it away. And this uh, plastic spatula, very handy. So put this to one side and then we'll just work the dough. Now, very therapeutic process this dough mixing. Um, just add flour as you need it because the, the dough inside is a bit tacky and you'll need to. You need to knead the dough for about 10 minutes to get a nice consistency and then it'll come away from the board and it'll come away from your hands without actually sticking. I think the dough mix is still a little bit wet and perhaps I did put a little bit too much water in but you can just add a little bit of extra flour. As you can see here, uh, I'm just putting a bit extra on the, on the board that tucks up the extra tackiness. So I'll go through this process, pushing it down and bringing it back. Okay, and we can set it aside to rest. Now you can do that in a bowl and you can cover it with a tea towel or a bit of plastic wrap and uh, we'll come back in about half an hour. If it's a warm environment, half an hour is plenty. If it's a fairly cold kitchen, then uh, perhaps up to an hour until it doubles in size and then we can shape it into our, our pizza bases. <laughs>